There are more news about the new world announcement. Not good ones, but there are some. Uh, I made a video yesterday talking about how New World seems to be honestly dying, and, or if it's not dead already with the announcement that we got yesterday, and you can go check that one all right, uh, out um, uh, in my channel. But I want to talk about the things that were explained and they were actually coming this um, in October, I think. Um, that being said, I don't think this is going to be enough, and I'm going to tell you in this video why. Subscribe to the channel for more content of this, go to my co if you want to support me, and let's get into it. So first, I want to say, I don't think, um, I don't want to talk about this like, oh, I don't want to be doom, uh, you know, complete, oh, this is dead or whatever. I want to be realistic, okay? And I do believe that New World has honestly no future ahead for them. Uh, because even if the things that we're going to talk about today and the things that are actually coming in four months, actually, by the way, and considering the fact that we got almost nothing for six months beforehand, I don't think this is enough to, one, consider the game anything but dead, and that it could actually be fixed eventually. And we're going to talk about that why. So first, let's go through all the things that we're actually getting. So first, there's a few, you know, what's the word, uh, misconceptions of what this announcement was. Essentially, it was just like a rebranding of the, of the game, of New World. You know, it's called New World Eternum, but it is actually, the, you know, it is the same game, it's just a new rebranding, and, you know, it's coming to console. So, I, I mean, I guess it, it was very confusing for a lot of people, but honestly, anyone that thought that, I think, the, you know, the game was going to shut down or anything, I think that was obviously, you know, not going to happen, right? Uh, that's why I didn't mention it in, in the other video, uh, because it, it was obviously not going to be the case. It seems like New World Eternal seems to be a soft revamp and restart, restart in the October of the game. Once stop being an MMO, you're not losing your character, and if you own the game, it's an update. Uh, this has been confirmed from the main website and no official Discord. Yes, yes, of course. Uh, but we don't... Seems to be a soft revamp and restart? That's not good enough, right? Like, they have really not explained anything about this. Um, this is a very p problematic part of the announcement. We don't really know what we're getting, even if we kind of speculate what this re re revamp could be. Uh, we know that some of the storyline in the new player experience is going to get revamped again, by the way, because he said they have done it multiple times. And I'm all for new player experience getting better, but at some point you have to be like, okay, maybe this is too much, okay? You can't revamp the same... Th like, you should only need one revamp every, like, I don't know, five years, okay? You shouldn't be having revamps over and over again. Like, whenever you do a revamp, it should stay that way. You revamped it. It should be done. It shouldn't have to, oh fuck, we fucked it up again. We're getting, like, it's insane to me that we're having so many revamps. Um, Summer Game Fest uh, announced focusing on ro role playing uh, game, solo and co op content is marketing, plain and simple. Yes, they did talk about a lot in the Summer Game Fest about solo uh, gameplay and co op. And of course, also. Um, you know, in the in the in the actual post of the new world announcement as well. But look, <laughs> the fact that they are not mentioning um, online in an MMO, right, at, at all, is insanely weird. Um, I doubt. Like you guys can say, like, oh, it's marketing. It's better for the marketing. This is an MMO. This is not a RPG. This is not a solo RPG. This is this shouldn't be good marketing. People should be coming towards a New World because it's an MMO. You shouldn't have to be hiding what it is. This is not a good thing, okay? This is absolute cope. The fact that this is because it's better marketing. I, I like, I don't think any, like, even in Guild Wars 2, in WoW, every time you, you know, they do some, uh, you know, announcement or some sort of advertisement, they put MMO there. They put online because people come to MMOs to play MMOs, to play online. This just sounds to me like they want to, you know, just, Get out of that a little bit so people can play it in a solo experience so they can actually have fun even if the game is completely dead, <laughs> which is very, very sad. Uh, first 10 players uh, person is a big deal. It's Yeah, we're getting a 10 person raid. Um, it's one of those two only only two ways to get the end game best in slot. It's likely indica indicator will get more. Likely indicator will get more if it's not... Pa Look, the, why? I don't know. This is cope. Um, if the raid doesn't succeed, there's not going to be any more. Okay, that's that's what is gonna happen, right? We don't know if it's gonna do well. We don't know if it's gonna be a good raid. Um, we have no idea, right? And putting that much effort into well, to put all your eggs in a, in in that basket when we when they haven't redone really them before, it's a scary thing. Now I'm not. It could be very good. It could be, but let's not pretend like oh yes, you know, it will get more and one raid a year, right? When also it's only three bosses. And you know, look, guys, in Guild Wars 2, we also get only three bosses. So I'm not, you know, I'm not being like oh wow, three bosses Omega, oh, right? But if that's the only thing you get, this is not, this is not enough. This is not good. Um, free for all PP. To also get best in slot is a big deal. Whole other PP game mode to get best. 
Uh, more PP content seems like exactly what we've been asking for. Uh, if you've been playing Slash Lurking, look, yes, a new PP game mode is nice, but do you want to like the, the game in in terms of population? It's already like very you know scattered. There's not you know the queues are long. Um, putting another game mode for that um, can indeed make it even worse, right? Because uh, you know you'll have the, the the population will scatter. They will it will divide. It might even cannibalize itself. Um, now of course. It could just be that this free-for-all mode is super good and it's way better than anything we've gotten, like the arena thing that New World has and, and OPR and all the other stuff. Uh, but uh, at the same time, it could also be bad and we don't really know. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, I don't think this is a very easy thing to do. A free-for-all PvP can be very boring if you don't have anything uh, interesting on the map, if you don't have any interesting powers to play with. Uh, the only reason why something like the BR in... Um, in WoW, the Plunderstorm is very good. It's because you have so many cool things to play with, and it's just very fun. Will they do that? We have no information about what this island is going to be. Is this just going to be an island? And then you sit up there, and then, oh, look, you can kill all people. Is that it? Because that is really not that interesting. Okay, I'm sorry. It's just not. Uh, especially when you're not probably... Well, well, no, I guess. Maybe you have teammates in some sort of way. Maybe you do, like, you know, hunting parties. I don't know. It really could be a lot of things. Uh, but we have no idea. Like... Getting excited over this, it's just unless they would have given us way more information, I don't think it's really I don't think it's really that much. Stroll trials must be expanded upon and improved a lot. I would expect levels of difficulty, more bosses, gears, and achievements to be associated with this. This speculation but it would make sense. It would make sense, yes. But we don't know. <laughs> we have no idea, okay? It could just be a few of them, a few improvisations overall, and that's it. Like we don't know. Like this like we we really have no idea what we're gonna get. Swimming who, like, who cares, dude? Like, honestly, I've never, like, yeah, and it, it was a funny meme about, like, oh, guys, in New World, you can swim, but, like, literally, I don't know. I never understood why it mattered that much. Um, so, really, this doesn't, I don't think it really does, does anything. Optimization, yeah, the game is getting optimized, so it um, has better FPS and stuff like this. Good. Uh, it's good, yes. More reliable and faster updates. So I don't know why they're making this conclusion here. Um, there's really no, uh, there's really no... There's this doesn't mean anything like just because we're the opposite, the FPS are gonna be better doesn't mean we're gonna get more updates doesn't mean we're gonna get more content doesn't mean anything right uh, at the end of the day the amount of content we get um, really matters way more in terms of you know well first of all how many resources they have uh, how much they are actually focusing on the game um, instead of the new you know Lord of the Rings MMO, I guess uh, and also on honestly how the development tools are and. You know how, because look, I guess the bug, the bugs in New World. I, you know, I would never have thought that I would say that there's a game with more bugs than fucking Guild Wars 2, but New World really makes that one, dude. Uh, sharding is great. Oh yeah, there's gonna be sharding, which makes it so there's no more queues, because like you know you're gonna be in a in a map, and then you know if there are way too many people, they're gonna go to another shard of the same map, which is actually you know that is pretty good. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Cinematics and better storytelling. They we're gonna get that too in the quest line. This will be great for the new when the new expression drops. That resolves around werewolves and vampires. Yeah, I mean I guess so, but is that really gonna be that big of a deal? Um, also, we don't know about better storytelling. Uh, we would really have to see the how that you know how the storytelling is. Cinematics are nice, but this is very subjective. What better storytelling is? Uh, more, um, more um, what's word? More work on that is very nice, but this is not, you know, uh, <laughs> it's not really, I don't think it's enough. And the big thing, I think, because, um, like, you know, all these things are kind of nice, I guess. Uh, they are they are pretty good. Um, but this is enough to keep an MMO from up, afloat. An MMO that is almost dead already, right? Like, the amount of people that play this game are not that many. Uh, like, dude, like only, like, what, 5,800 people playing right now? Overall? Okay? Guild Wars 2... Well, definitely has less, but guess what? Steam is the only thing that, um, I mean, most people in Guild Wars 2 don't play on Steam, right? Um, this is not, like, we probably have, like, I don't know, six times more than this. And Guild Wars 2 is already consider considered by a lot of people, like, a dead game, right? New World is just complete, and, and the fact that, you know, you have servers as well that don't work together, it's just, ugh, there's no way that you continue, you can continue to develop, um, a game like this, this, with this little amount of players, with getting this little amount of money, um, with this little amount of content, right? Like, like wow, dude, look at it. Right? Wow is a bad example of how successful it is. Uh, but, dude, the amount of content they're getting in one year, guys. They're gonna do yearly expansions. Look, this is only 2024, guys. 
Dragon Knight, like, dude, new patch, new map, new raid, new dungeons, right? Um, Dragonfly re Revisited, right? New Mythic Plus Season, you know? Uh, new Open World Rewards, new PvP Season, Plunderstorm. Uh, expansion coming in uh, later on the, 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 the month, I mean, the, the year, right? Um, Guild Ops, like, so many stuff. All, every year. And even that game gets run out of, con like, runs out of content, right? Fucking Guild Wars 2, one of the games that really doesn't have that much fucking um, content. Like, it, you know, people complain about content in this game a lot. And every year, on the expansions that are gonna, you know, by the way, the people are complaining of having very little content on these new uh, type of expansions. Uh, we are getting um, nine new weapons each year. <laughs> Three maps each year. Relics, so essentially artifacts from, um, from New World, every year as well. Instant content. Three, two, two strikes. Um, actually, this is four. Uh, and one uh, fractal. Now, some people have very problems with, with certain types of this content, but let's just you know put that aside right now. Dante World is getting th one raid and one fractal as well, right? Uh, <laughs> it's actually insane. Plus multiple features, right? Legendary armor on Soto. Legendary um, spear and backpack on Janther Wilds. Housing on Janther Wilds. Masteries, every expansion. Wizard Vault, new rewards every three months. And we're getting, yeah, and also, we're getting updates every three months that we, they're not here, even here, right? Um, and also, back in the day, we used to get nine elite specs, nine, nine specialization for each of the classes every year. No, no actually, no, not every year, because back then it used to be two yearly, more or less, expansions. So that's actually not true. But it was a lot, okay? And people complain about this one, getting too little. Okay, and then you have New World. Where did you get? Where did you get what did you got? What did you got? What did you guys get last year? You got one weapon, one map that was reused. Um, a new, few, a few new systems that were very cool. Mounts, which honestly, in my opinion, were pretty bad. <laughs> uh, they were like they, they were not that interesting. They were the races were horrible too. I, I, I look. I did, I did like some of the expansion, but um, and this year we're only getting one raid, one island. That's and swimming. That's it. I, I no. I I. There's no way. There's any future in this. If they want New World to actually come back, you're gonna have to not only fix the game, okay, and the box, an insane amount of box it has, um, fix the combat, right? Um, you know, uh, and all these things, and bring it to you know, and you know, bring it to console and all this other stuff. But you also need to actually bring content for people to stay. Otherwise. There's no way this was this would ever recover, and and I get it. These things are good for the game, right? They are, but you have to pair it with something else too. And to me, this is only some things that can you can do to keep a few of the people that are very high on copium, right? Just keep playing the game, okay? So you can still market it as a game that exists and people can buy it until you next. Um, MMO comes out that is essentially based upon a lot of the optimizations that this game is having in terms of engine. So, in my opinion, you shouldn't play this game. Unless you really like it and you don't mind playing at that game. If you don't mind it, it's fine. Okay? If you just like having fun in New World and you just enjoy it and you don't care that this really has no future or you are okay with the amount of content that you're getting this year right now and, not, and you will be content with this and you don't need anything more, you can play it as a side game, probably not a new, not not a main game. Um, don't don't do this to yourself. If you want this game to be, if this is not enough for you, okay, if this is not enough for you, and you need more for your MMO to give it to you, to give to you. Don't disrespect yourself. You need more. Play something else. Keep this on the side. Play from time to time so you remember how cool the game is. And I would agree, this is a cool game, okay. And that's how I play it, because I don't, this is not my main game. I just play it a few times, you know, when the new update appears and see how it is. Do that. But in my opinion, the likelihood of this actually getting better and actually getting, it's almost impossible. There's no way. Not with this plan. At least. Um, so I think this is the moment to accept that it's not going to get better. This is it. If you don't like this, leave. If you're okay with this, you can stay. But at the end, with the game... The game is done. That's my opinion, though. Tell me if I think I'm wrong. Sorry for being too heated, but look, you know, these things make me mad, okay? I hate good MMOs, don't I? Because many of my, my games that are reloved 
have died, and it makes me sad. Okay, battle right. Oh, what a great game! And it fucking died. Fuck me. But there you go. Subscribe to the channel. Promo code this. Tell me what you're thinking. Tell me if you think I'm completely wrong and a fucking dumbass. Comment. And uh, see you soon. I love you. Bye bye.